Among the millions who have fled the Syrian civil war over the past four years, around a quarter of a million headed to Erbil in Iraqi Kurdistan. They've been joined in recent months by more than two million Iraqis fleeing north to escape ISIL jihadists, and half of them are children. UNICEF says it's been a devastating year for millions of children caught up in worldwide conflicts. What for us is an emergency is a crisis, for them is normal. For them, what is strange is a normal life. So what UNICEF and partners attempt to do is create a normal life. A camp will never be home, but if they have a place they can play, if they can go to school, if they can be with friends and a family and basically feel safe and secure, then ideally they won't lose that opportunity to continue to grow. Many of the youngest Syrians have only known war, violence and exile. <laughs> There is no future for our children or us. The jihadists still control many areas, so we can't think about the future. Things are uncertain. The future should include these children's education, but here it's difficult. Right in front of me there's a school attached to the refugee camp, but Yazidi children don't have access to it because the local children get priority and also because they're taught in English and Kurdish and the refugees only speak Arabic. Around 4,000 primary school children and even more at secondary school age are living in this Christian refugee camp. But the days drag when there's no school and you're so far from home. And even activities organised by NGOs are not enough to make a real difference. Before, we had our dignity, our home, our school. At Bachika, it was not like here. Here we have nothing at all. Our lives were better before. At least we had schools and we lived in prosperity. What do we have here? Nothing. Not a single thing. I want to go home. Back to Bachika. There's a small glimmer of hope at this festive time. The first prefabricated school has opened nearby, one of eight paid for by a Catholic NGO. The rest should be built and operational by the end of January.